At the Eurosatory 2022, Kraus Maffei Wegmann unveiled a new infantry fighting vehicle, the Tracked Boxer. Yes, it is literally its name, Tracked Boxer, since it is basically a Boxer infantry fighting vehicle, but has tracks instead of the wheels. The vehicle was presented with a new RCT-120 remotely controlled turret, armed with a 120mm L44 gun, hence the name. That leads me to believe that the vehicle was both a demonstration of the Tracked Boxer variant and the demonstration of the new turret. The vehicle itself has a crew of three, driver, gunner and commander, and room for six soldiers in the back. The reason why it can carry infantry and basically have firepower of a main battle tank is because the turret, with all of its ammunition, is located above the rear hull compartment. The crew, as well as the engine, are in the front. The turret itself carries 15 rounds of the main gun ammunition which are loaded into the gun with an autoloader. The vehicle can have additional ammunition by having an autoloader in the chassis, but that would obviously remove the ability to transport infantry. It is also armed with two Spike LR2 missiles, one on each side. Great thing about these missiles is that they can be launched in a top attack mode. But to be honest, this kinda reminds me of the North Korean tanks that have ATGMs mounted on their turrets and to think we all made fun of them for that. And according to James, the turret can also have a 30mm coaxial autocannon installed. On top of that, it also has a remote weapon station equipped with a 50 cal machine gun. The fire control system includes 3rd generation thermals for both gunner and commander, assuring full hunter-killer capability. When it comes to protection, well, it is boxer, so it only gives protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing ammunition. But, the turret mounted on it has Trophy Hard Kill Active Protection System installed, which gives protection against most common AT threats, which are AT rockets and missiles. And the vehicle is said to be able to receive extra armor protection if needed. I imagine that AMAP modules would be installed on it, which would drastically increase its protection, with the cost of increasing the weight, of course. But that shouldn't be that big of a problem, since the vehicle is powered by a 1180 horsepower MTU 881 diesel engine and can weigh up to 45 tons, making it a pretty mobile vehicle. Now, this turret is not really unique for this vehicle, it can most certainly be also mounted on the wheeled boxer, and it's just another addition to the modularity of the boxer platform. I've also heard that this turret can be mounted on a Leopard 2, which is not that surprising since it's mounted on top of the hull. And the chassis can also have any other turret installed on it. Anything that goes on a wheeled boxer will go on this one, so a usual turret with an autocannon is also most certainly an option. All of that being said, I don't know what the future of this vehicle holds. The market for modern infantry fighting vehicles is flooded with the competition, and as such, I can't really point to anything about the chassis that would make this vehicle really stand out. The turret on the other hand seems promising, since it is installed on top of a vehicle's hull and has a lot of positive things about it. 120mm gun, modern fire control system, as well as hard kill active protection system make it a very desirable option on the market. But it is too soon to say anything, it hasn't been long since the unveiling and the customers are yet to appear. That would be all, if you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.